After folding these squares into a closed cube, which shaded corner would touch the corner marked X? This question asks you to visualize a flattened shape in your mind and manipulate it into a cube all within 14 seconds. Some people find this naturally easy, but if you don't, the best strategy is to practice, both online and even cutting this shape with paper and trying to make a cube. If you are in the exam and can't see the answer, the best option is elimination. There are only five options, meaning guessing has a 20% success rate. Looking at the flattened cube, I like to separate the top and bottom halves. I can see the X is in the bottom half and is getting folded horizontally or sideways, meaning it has to stay in the bottom half. This allows me to eliminate option C and B as they are both in the top half, and like X, they are getting folded horizontally, so will stay in the top half. The second thing I notice is option D. D is the box next to the X, and clearly isn't touching. As it's a cube, the sides can't be back to back, so option D can also be eliminated, leaving us with A or E. At this point, if you don't see the answer, it's best to guess either option A or E. It's a 50-50 option and you don't lose points for being wrong. But the answer is option A. As a rule of thumb, the box attached on all four sides is the cube's base, so won't move. The box which isn't touching the base, in our case the one with an X, will be the cube's top, so we can flip it 180 degrees. And any box attached on one side to the cube space will simply go up and become a side. Given this, we can see the X will stay in the bottom half and option E will stay in the top half, allowing us to remove option E, leaving option A as our final answer.